Okay, let's say you're in a course like CRJ 335, Criminal Justice 335, The Laws of Evidence, and the Module 8 Portfolio Project is asking you to write a paper uh, that talks about these controversial areas of evidence law. And you're supposed to select four, and they give you all these choices of things you could write about. I'm going to choose DNA, Miranda, the exclusionary rule and exceptions, and uh, scientific evidence. Okay, so what people normally do when they're doing research in the library is they jump to this box here or they open advanced search. This searches all the databases at once. I think that's going to be too much for this. What I would do, I would go specifically to a legal database. So I would go here to library databases, A to Z, and I'm looking for the database Nexus Uni, which is a very good database for legal research. So I'm going to click on N, and then I'm going to click on Nexus Uni. So when you get into this database, their default setting for the dates is previous two years. I'm probably going to set that to previous five years. But you could do whatever you want. Previous two years might be just fine. I'll set that for my search here, previous five years. Now under all content types, I don't want all content because I will just be bombarded with too much information. What I would really like is a law review. I want to look at law reviews where they have looked at these issues and analyzed them, kind of done a lot of the work for me. So when I click all content types, I'm going to click legal. Then I'm going to go down here to law reviews and journals. So that I can get analysis of this issue. So I'll type in DNA. Run a search here. And I'm looking for the issues involved with DNA as evidence. And all of these, you have 5,558. There's so many. And then I'm just looking through here to look at, and these are all going to be uh, law reviews that are talking about all of these issues with, with DNA. How is it controversial? You could, if you would like, you can limit it over here. You can get more specific with you want. Or I'll just go back here. Let's do a different... Let's do a different topic here. So there were plenty there for that. Let's leave this set to that. Previous five years, law reviews and journals. Let's look up Miranda. <clears throat> and we're just looking at law reviews right now. We're not really looking at cases, although they will be analyzing cases in here. And so this, you can see that they're analyzing this. So it's, it's an expert has written this. Let's open this up and take a look at it. And then here is, here is this article. There's the author right there. And you can see it's a nice analysis of this. It's going to help you understand this and it's going to give you, give you a lot of, a lot of background on this. And it's analyzing a specific case. If you want to get a link for this, you can click right here and get a link to that. Then you would just copy that. <clears throat> if you would want to print it out, you can print it there. If you want to email it to yourself, you can download it. Let's go back here. Now, another thing you could do on this right here, you could, you could, if you want to look at cases as well to supplement your research, you could click on cases. Now, this is all going to be cases that have focused on Miranda rights. And if you scroll down a little bit, we could limit it by court. Uh, I could click more here to see all these state courts. There is, I'm in Colorado right now. I could click Colorado and just see the previous five years of court cases in the state of Colorado that have dealt with Miranda rights. And if you open one of this, one of these here, you can see that's coming from the Colorado Supreme Court. You'll get the full case here. So that's a quick that's a quick overview of how to use this database. I think I think this would make your your research a lot easier than if you tried to go through this huge system here that searches everything. I think go go instead go to A to Z databases, open up Nexus Uni, and then just set up the limits how you want. I like I said, I would do I would start with law reviews, previous five years. You could also do previous two years, it's probably good enough. We found so many. You could probably even just look at the previous year.
because it's such a it's a very big database and it is great for legal research so there you go that's what i would recommend for this assignment and for any other assignment that is similar to this thank you very much bye bye